Right now, this is Ticker News Insight. Hello and welcome back to Ticker News Insight, where we are looking to focus on the best of business with very clever people joining us from right around the world. I'm your host, Mike Loder, and to our latest story. And Nathan McGregor is the Senior Vice President for Asia Pacific at Cradlepoint, a group promising to be a global leader in cloud-delivered long-term evolution and 5G wireless network solutions. Nathan brings over 20 years of leadership experience in the telecommunications and IT industry as well. And of course, he's bringing that to the program today. It's good to see you, Nathan. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Mike. Great to see you. You too. Let's start off quite simply. Tell us a bit about Cradlepoint and the work that you guys are doing. Sure. Uh, Cradlepoint's a pioneer and a worldwide leader in the supply of 4G and 5G routers and adapters for businesses connecting to mobile networks. Our customers span from small business all the way through to enterprise and public sector, and they typically use cases such as branch and office connectivity to vehicle mobility and IoT. A little known fact about Cradle Point is that we were first in the world to connect a business up to a 5G network, and that was done here in Australia with Telstra. Very cool. I think I remember hearing about it. There was a bit of buzz when you guys got involved in that, but uh, was that one of the reasons that you jumped on board with the Cradle Point team? Take us through uh, why you jumped in with them. Definitely a part of it. I mean, over 20 odd years in the technology industry, you always want to be the forefront of something, something that's really a boom area that's that's interesting and, and something to get passionate about. And that's certainly it for me. I mean, Crater Point's unofficial motto is, if anything can get connected wireless, it will be connected wireless. It's just a human nature thing. So we're at that phase now with 5G where we're absolutely seeing that boom. But more, more than that for me, it's a bit of a spiritual homecoming to some extent, uh, my early days of technology. Uh, my, my, one of my first big jobs was with Ericsson back in early 2000. And uh, Cradle Point's been acquired by uh, Ericsson in 2021. But when I was working for Ericsson in the early thousands, it was 3G networks back then. Um, I'm not sure if anyone remembers the clamshell first time video call, pretty awkward now that you, now that you think about it, but um, <laughs> that, was there and that was the advent of it. So it's a spiritual homecoming, but, but finally you wanna be at the right company that knows how to do this really well. And that's why I've chosen Cradle Point. We do it exceptionally well. We know what we're doing in this space and mobile networks are kind of complicated. So we've made it simple for people to adapt to adopt the technology and we've done that in the way we offer our management platforms. Incredible. So yeah, it's, it's a place to be in this great new market exactly. It's funny how it all comes full circle, but let's bring it to the present full day circle. and what impact do you think the growing prevalence of 5G connectivity will have on businesses in Australia if we can turn our attention to the businesses? Great. 5G in particular right now, it's going to be a profound impact in the way people use it. They haven't worked it out yet in, in its entirety, but that's what we're here for. Um, the way organizations build their enterprise software stack has been built in such a way that you have to kind of accommodate for when the network isn't acting in its, in its, in its best capability, such as 4G. With 5G, the big advent of the shift in, in speeds means that enterprises can now build their enterprise software stack to always work at the highest of speeds, no matter where they are. So that's made a real profound way people will design their enterprise architectures. Um, and that's before we get to the really new areas coming through like artificial intelligence and edge computing. So yeah, really big shifts coming down this industry. Absolutely huge. Uh, Nathan, can you talk about any of your customers that are using 5G solutions from Cradle Point at the moment, perhaps some case studies that you guys sure. have done that uh, you're quite proud of? Yeah, absolutely. Well, one we're super proud of, and it's kind of in that space of 5G, really quite a driver for innovation. Uh, and that was with the Kadarjal Development Corporation. Um, we did that with one of our partners, Mobile Corp. And what that is about is connecting remote indigenous communities back to land to knowledge share, storytelling, and also just care for country by using 5G to stream video from um, underwater and aerial drones on country. It's a really cool thing to, uh, to witness and, and okay. social impact is amazing. But, but also 5G is just for everything. It's the, it's the Ticketex, a customer of ours, using it for 24 by seven connectivity. No point in turning up to a concert if it doesn't recognize your, your tickets being paid for. So that's a real always on is what wireless is about. So each end of the spectrum there, Mike. Yeah, awesome stuff. So just to summarize and finish for me, what are you hoping to see in terms of wireless wide area networking this year? It's obviously going to be a big one. Yeah. Uh, again, just to summarize. 
Yeah, massive year for for wireless networking. We're seeing that the the kind of planning for the turning off the three G network in the next sort of year to eighteen months, and we're seeing pervasiveness of the connections and, and the deployment of five G. So customers are really getting their head around what it can do for them, and it's exciting to lead them through that journey this year. And we're going to see a massive up, uptake of enterprise connectivity on five G, and really pleased to be a part of that. Awesome stuff, Nathan McGregor. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's wonderful to hear about the things you guys are doing at Cradle Point. And uh, yeah, it's good to stay connected. And I appreciate all the work that you guys are doing Absolutely. day to day. So thank you again. Thanks, Mike. Great to see you. Take care. You too. Well, there you have it. Some interesting things happening in the world of 5G and connectivity as well. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you've learned something from our conversation today. I've been your host, Mike Loder. And please head to tickernews.co for more. I'll see you again very soon. Be well.